on TikTok. Why did I say that so weird? I don't really know if it's going to follow all over my, why, what? Oh, I don't like that. I do not like that. Okay. Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here and you've never seen my face before, hi, hello, my name is Joanne and I'm really glad that you're here. I was gonna name this video, TikTok Made Me Buy It, but I actually cannot call it that because boy are these viral TikTok makeup items hard to find. They are so hard to find. I am lucky I found two of them from TikTok, so I had to kind of morph the video idea more into the internet made me buy it because I couldn't find all of the viral TikTok items. You guys are buying them up like crazy. In today's video, I'm going to be doing my makeup with all of the items that the internet made me buy. I will say that for the majority of the items in this video, this is going to be a first impressions video. I haven't used a lot of them. Uh, some of them I have, but the majority of them I am trying for the first time right now. So. I believe I have a full face, but if I don't have a full face, then I will be dipping into my Shop My Stash bag. And of course, I will leave that video linked down below if you wanna check it out. Okay, the first thing I wanna start off with actually isn't a makeup item. It is a perfume body spray. The actual perfume is what I see going viral on TikTok, but I was wandering through Walgreens trying to pick out some of these items, and Ariana Grande's Cloud scent is actually in a body mist, so instead of paying the however much it is in the perfume, you can get it in a body mist for like $11. I really do not know how to describe this scent. It is kind of a mature scent. It's more of a musky scent, but it's sweet as well, but it's not floral. It's not like food sweet either. It's very interesting and I actually really, really like it. Okay, so I will start off the face. On TikTok, the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer is everywhere. Now, I have the full size of the Luminous Putty Primer, but I think it's specifically the Poreless Putty Primer. So I went and I purchased the little tiny mini trio and it comes with all three of a, in like a sample size form. So for today, I'm going to be using just the regular putty primer. I have used the Luminous one before and I wasn't, I mean, it's not groundbreaking. I don't really know why people love this product so much, but I guess I'm going to find out today. These little pots do make it really kind of hard to dig your finger in there and get a good amount. Am I using too much? <laughs> okay, we'll start with that. Okay, so that is the primer on, it feels nice. I actually can tell that my skin is a little bit more smooth. I can still see all of my fine lines and my big pores as well, but right in here, it is a little bit more blurred. We will see how this product meshes with the foundation that I'm gonna try, which I'm actually very, very excited about. Today I am using an eyeshadow palette that I've never tried before, so I wanna do my eyes before I do my foundation, just in case there's any fallout, as I typically like to do. But today we are going in with the Alter Ego's Blooms palette. Now, I did hear about this product from Butte Bean here on YouTube, and I've also heard quite a few other smaller YouTubers talk about Alter Ego, so this is the first palette that I'm trying from them, and I'm actually pretty excited. The color story looks like this. It's very pink and spring. So is this look going to go with my green probably not but I love it so so much it's so pretty I have no idea what I'm gonna go for today I would like to do some swatches I want to swatch some of the mattes as well as the shimmers in this palette so first I'm going in with snap dragon okay it's not so bad this is in the shade azalea okay one more matte this is in the shade Lush. Boom. Let's go in with a few shimmers next. This is in the shade Fuchsia. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, okay. This is in the shade Hibiscus. That one's really pretty. One more shimmer here. Let's go for this golden shade called Calla. 
like calla lily, I guess. Ooh, that's pretty too. Okay. The shimmers in this palette are really, really, really pretty. I love that. I'm quickly going to prime my eyes. I'm just dipping into my Shop My Stash bag, so nothing to see here. I love these types of videos because as a content consumer as well, I do buy a lot of products that I probably wouldn't buy normally, but because I see someone I like and enjoy watching talk about a product, then I will sometimes go out and buy that product. So I do enjoy these videos. So I'm going in with a shade Petal, a little powdery. I don't know why, but I just cannot speak today kind of starting to get on my nerves a little. <laughs> Sometimes I'll start a video and just halfway through be like, you know what, never mind. I can just tell that one, editing it is gonna be a pain in the butt because I keep messing up and I'll have to like edit it out, keep on repeating myself over and over again. So these shadows are very, very powdery. I do not know what color I wanna go for. I'm wearing like, I'm wearing like a green and gold shirt today, so maybe I can go for these like red colors. I think I will. I think I'm gonna go in with the shade Snapdragon. Okay. These Alter Ego palettes do only retail for $16, I believe, so they are very inexpensive. And I would say that this isn't necessarily a beginner-friendly eyeshadow palette. These go, like, they're very pigmented, and it's kind of a little bit hard to control where the color is going, so I will have to go in and clean this up a little bit. Oh, it's not really a big deal, but it's still just kind of like, it can be very intimidating to work with colors like this if you're not used to it. This is getting a little bit intense, so I'm going back in with that neutral color called Petal, and I'm just going to diffuse this a little bit. Things got a little crazy, so I'm just going to clean it up with a wet cloth. This palette is so pigmented, it's crazy. To bring a little bit more color to the lid because I did really diffuse this out, it just got a little too intense for me. I'm going in with the shade Azalea. Just going in with that on my lid only. I'm not bringing that up like I did the other color. I guess I'm just so used to working with my NYX palette that I've been working with all month long that I did not expect this palette to be this intense in color. And with my NYX palette, I can kind of go in with a heavy hand and just diffuse it all out and it'll always end up fine. But this one is a little bit uh, pigmented, very, very pigmented. For the middle of the eyelid, I'm going in with the color Petunia, which is the shimmery pink shade. And I'm just going in with my finger. It is a duochrome. You can actually see the shift between pink and yellow and orange. Or I guess maybe it's a multi-chrome. Pink to orange, I guess. I would say with these shimmers, you might be better off using a sticky shimmer base, like the NYX Glitter Primer underneath, but I just... We have other products to get through, so I'm just gonna slap the color on. I like that. Yeah, I really like that Petunia color on the center of my eye. I think it is so pretty. It definitely brings out the green in my eyes, that's for sure. Okay, so the next product is going to be our foundation, and I am so excited for this foundation. This foundation is all over TikTok. Oh my God, it's crazy. It's the L'Oreal Infallible 24-Hour Fresh Wear Foundation. That's a powder, and everyone is using the actual little sponge that comes with it to best apply it. I got shade Vanilla 120, they are just going in with the powder puff. Why am I nervous right now? I think it's because it's been so hyped up and I just kind of don't think it's going to work like they say it does, but... Okay, as far as shade matches go, I didn't do terrible, but 
I do have textured skin. I do have acne prone skin. So I do have some blemishes that I'm trying to cover. I actually don't think that the shade is terrible. I think I did like an okay job with the shade. Just the way it goes on with this sponge is kind of cakey and disgusting, especially with my dry patchy skin. So let me, let me actually go in with a dense foundation brush and just kind of swirl and buff it into my face, kind of like I do the Bare Minerals. And we'll see if maybe I can create a better finish. I actually don't think that the shade is terrible. I think vanilla actually is a pretty good shade for me. Okay, I want to zoom you guys in super close so you can see how terrible it... <sighs> okay, it hangs on to my dry acne patches here on my chin and it really accentuates the large pores I have from acne scarring, even with buffing it in with a brush. My nose is looking really dry and crusty. And now I'm getting kind of nervous because I do have a cream concealer that I wanted to try out and I just don't know how it's gonna lay on top of this powder. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. When in doubt, buff it out. For concealer, I was not talked into. I don't wanna say that, but one of my friends here on YouTube, Giovanna, talks about the NYX Conceal Correct Contour Palette. I got the light palette and it has like some a brightening um, blush, some contour, bronzer, and like a true skin matte shade in it. I don't know how it's gonna lay over this. Maybe this is one of those foundations that the longer you wear it, the more it kind of melts into your skin. I know that the Bare Minerals one is like that for me, so maybe if I just give this a chance, or I could try it tomorrow with maybe like a different primer underneath it. So far, I'm not impressed. <laughs> okay, I think I'm going to go in with this shade right here. Okay, it feels strange upon first dipping your hand into it. <sighs> okay. She just makes this product seem so smooth and easy to just dot right under the eyes. This could be a full face of fails for all I know. Oh my gosh, okay. What have I done? It's kind of sticky. It's actually very sticky. It's like stickier than the primer I used or maybe it's the foundation, I cannot tell. Yeah, she makes it seem so nice and smooth. Like you can just, like it's just like butter under your eyes but it is really sticky. Please explain. Why is it so sticky? Definitely not covering my inner circle, like inner dark circles right here. I feel like this does need to be set though. So I guess I'm gonna go in with my powder foundation. Is this a bad idea? <laughs> oh, why do I feel like I haven't done a makeup look this bad in uh, like a long time? Okay. Yeah. I guess I'll contour, maybe with this like medium shade. I'm not dark at all. Nope, that's okay, that, mm -mm, too light, too light. Let's mix them together. This is like a watercolors paint set. Just kind of mix it together. I do not contour. The TikTokers tell me to keep it up high though, so I, I guess I'll, I'll do that. Oh God. Yet I keep adding more and more. Why am I like this? Giovanna, help me. Did I do something wrong? Okay. <sighs> Wait a minute. What just happened? Okay, well that looks terrible on my spots, but other than that, like hold up. Hold on. This one was so easy. It just blended right away. This one on the other hand, 
It just kind of grabbed onto all of my texture right here. This looks really awful in this area. That actually wasn't so bad. Pretty impressed with that, actually. I really, really wanted to like this, but I hate it. I hate it, hate it, hate it, I hate it. Okay, I have one idea. I'm going to actually just spray my face down with my Set and Refresh Mist. I'm just gonna kinda dab at it for a minute just to maybe see if I can melt it into my skin. It just kinda didn't, it's just kinda sitting there. Okay, that's actually a little bit better. <laughs> I want to finish the eyes so that I can move on to the next product that TikTok made me buy. <laughs> I'm going to have fun editing this video. I can already tell. This was a disaster. My gosh. Okay. I am going to actually go in with some different colors here. I want to try all of them. I'm going to go in with uh, a Lush underneath my eye. I'm going to just place the color at first so I can diffuse it out. Let's see here. I think I'm just gonna I'm gonna go for it. I'm just gonna add rose. It's more of a true red color instead of the pink that's on my lid. I want to add some shimmer to the bottom. I'm gonna go in with the shade. Um, let's see what this is called. Fuchsia. That's a beautiful duochrome. What is that? Okay, it's a purple orange duochrome. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah, let's just go ahead and add that in. Why not? Okay, I look crazy. Yep, I look crazy. I've really been going for like a smoky under eye lately. I don't know why, that's very not like me, but it is now. Today is an eyeliner day. I'm going in with my Wander Beauty Highline. I'm doing that thing where I add a little bit more and then I have to add a little bit more because they're uneven and I have to add some more and it's just... <sighs> in my case, my eyeliners are distant cousins, not, not sisters. <laughs> the next product, another TikTok viral product and it was so hard for me to find this product. Holy shit. I can't believe I found one. Yes. But I finally did. I was so excited. The Maybelline Lash Sensational Sky High Mascara. Yay. Whoa. Brush is a rubber bristle wand and they are so stubby, so tiny. In one of my last videos, I tried a Lash Sensational Mascara and I really, really liked it. Um, nothing's happening. <laughs> Why do these products go viral? I don't understand. Okay. Nothing is happening. Great. Now I'm stuck with another mascara I hate. This was the last one in the store. Why? Why was this the last one in the store? My face makeup isn't actually looking terrible. It's looking a little cakey, but I think that's because I added way too much product in hopes that it would cover more of my skin. But I think you could go in with a nice light layer, spray it down, kind of meld it with your skin, and I think it would be really nice. Okay, as far as this mascara is concerned, it is very clumpy, but if you like your lashes clumpy, which I kind of do, I kind of do like that, I like it. Okay, it's all coming together. It's coming together. I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna stop. Moving on. The next product is a product I've had in my collection for a long, long while because Miss Nikki Tutorials made me buy it. And that is the Milani Luminoso Blush, which is also a dupe for NARS Orgasm, in case you're curious. She, I don't know if she still does. I kind of stopped watching her. I stopped watching a lot of the big, big, big YouTubers. 
I kind of just like to stick to the smaller YouTuber community. It's just a little bit more personal, I think, in my opinion, my own personal opinion. But she used the heck out of this blush. In every single video I would watch, this was the blush that she was using. And it was so, so popular because of Nikki Tutorials. And I love this blush. Thank you, Nikki, for this blush. This was actually a good recommendation. <laughs> I use this blush all of the time. I'm really actually kind of surprised I haven't made a bigger dent in it, honestly. It's so luminous. Like, see the shine? So pretty. And it's such a pretty corally pink color with a golden shift to it. And I just think it's beautiful. I really do. And I'm just gonna keep adding it because I think it looks really nice with this eyeshadow look I did. So um, I guess we're going for a full blush look today. I really like this look. <laughs> I do not have a highlighter. I'm going in with my Tarte Skin Twinkle Palette Highlighter. I've been trying to use this up. I'm really, really trying to get through it this year. I think I definitely can, whoops. I mean, every single time I use it, I just chip away at it, so I'm pretty confident that I'm gonna be able to use it up this year. This might be a mistake, but I'm gonna add this bright pink color. For the very last viral TikTok makeup item, it is the Maybelline Lifter Gloss. In my opinion, Maybelline has been killing it this year. I have a ton of Maybelline products that I am absolutely obsessed with, and the Lifter Gloss was one of them before I knew that it went viral on TikTok. So I have the shade Moon, and I'm just gonna dye it on my lid here. It is so soft and moisturizing. It's like a lip oil, but it's not sticky, it's not tacky, and it is so glossy, so moisturizing on the lips. I love these glosses. Okay. Like that. Okay, this is the completed look using all of the products that the internet made me buy. I am so, so curious what you guys have gone out and purchased due to an influencer or someone on TikTok or a product that has gone viral. I have bought way too much makeup in my lifetime because an influencer told me that it was amazing, it was great, she loved it, blah, 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 blah. And I'm curious what products you guys have went and picked up because someone told you it was so great. So anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a big thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and I will see you all very soon. Bye.